What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off up last time, uh, we are um, defending against the, the last attack from um, the garrison at the fort. We've been sort of resupplied by two more units and another battery of guns, but I doubt that will be enough to stop the camels, although they are heavily depleted. Without further ado, let's crack on. <coughs> Lose this fight. It won't be the end of the world. <laughs> um, be abstracting, but... Yeah, we can just rebuild. We have the technology. Um, but it's mortal faction that keeps blockading my port. Apologies, everyone. I uh, the uh, out of the game. <laughs> when I'll tab, I clicked on my other monitor. So, ooh, we have fortifications now that'll start to even the odds a bit it's dumper how it says up front everyone pretty much deploy stakes rather than trenches because I'm not worried about the uh, I'm not worried about the enemy infantry. It is still the uh, the camels that are the cause for concern. Then my militia are going to be the uh, the reserve here, alongside my general. So they're all deployed on the right flank just get my gunners to start engaging the camels at max range yeah their infantry is not something I'm really concerned about it's though it is those damned camels but whatever damage we can do before they make it to our lines the better especially if we can make them rout so I'm aiming at these guys because it's quite a nice cluster here. Come on you fellows, reload. I will switch them to canister when they get too close to my lines. Set them on set this these guys to fire canister at the warriors my other fellows can or my other my lone gun he can continue engaging the camels at range so i've aimed at this bunch now although he has missed this is useful if at the very least we can knock out their their native troops the desert warriors before they can do much damage then it will just be a case of taking out their camels canister shot blasts in I could angle these guys but I don't want to provide any easy targets for my uh, for the camels these men are going to be more than enough the canister shot is going to really cause their morale to break quite badly long range cannon shot yes good hit oh no bad hit it didn't kill any There we go. Change canister target. Camels are starting to march up, but with these uh, defences I feel pretty good. Okay, let's target their camels with my canister shot. A lot of camels down. Yeah, they're done for. Let's get my other gun to start hitting some of these units slightly closer to home. Let's 
Yeah, there's the depletion. The depletion of the enemy camels is quite significant. Yeah. There you go the camels once more. You guys attack the desert warriors. You guys attack that unit of desert warriors. See, these fellas think they're going to get a bit of an easier um, experience on the left flank. That ain't going to be the case because we've still got lots of good infantry which will mow them down. They seek cover in the trees but that will not help them. Morale impact is just too much. So I'm gonna go have to get I'm gonna have to go take out those camel gunners, which I don't really want to do. Especially when they should, strictly speaking, be attacking me. There we go. I think they are gonna move in as and when. They have to. Like, right now there is no other choice. As the artillery lands amongst their camels. Yep. Their charge has been nullified and they're out of here okay choose my general to lure them in you guys fire round shot hold for any fire and reload Camel gunners. Let's get my general the hell out of dodge. Looks like they are gonna take they are gonna take refuge inside the fort, so let's get you guys out of the way. They're out of range, but chances are they'll be in range by the time my guns have reloaded. Whoops. Here they come. The 36th won't take this line down either. There you go. Okay, so then my left wing. I don't want to send all my troops, just in case. They may come back, because they've not lost a huge proportion of their existing men. There we go, let's run my infantry, let's just make this... Let's get this over with. Bring the general back over as well. It's one general unit, two artillery units. Should be a piece of cake. Should this probably shrink the front of my force so there's a bit more mass behind my units? But this should be it. They should all route in pretty good order soon. Yeah, there they go. So long, fellas. Hmm. Huh. Don't know what I was worried about. But I don't know if that hates. Just 45 men. Hmm, here come the pirates. Finally onwards towards Madrid. Yeah, the, you guys are a concern. Oh, 
because it is possible. First, let's replenish the army. Get you guys to Otto Brander. Let's deposit my men aboard ship. Let's sail them around near the capital and dump them off the coast and then get my ship back into Otto Brander. Just to keep them near Caracas in case any, any shenanigans start to occur. Hop back to Europe. Okay, they've got one more turn. They're probably going to come out and attack me, but we've just got a bunch of replenishment done there. Got a good navy here. Okay, probably just going to go with upgrading some of these Iron Masters works. We've got good roads. No, we do not. So a bit more fundamentally, let's get some good roads built. And over here, still lots of people are uh, upset. You guys are replenishing as much as you can. You guys are replenishing, but get back to... back over towards Spain. Altro. You men can't recruit anything except artillery, and I'll probably take it. Because I need to destroy this rebel army. Then say, then march and go take Lisbon. Our territories up here seem secure for now. But we all know how that can change. Let's get our battle fleet over towards Portsmouth. It's probably worth growing that. And definitely worth getting some roads built in this area. Considering they are my most valuable regions by a country mile, I think. You're currently not very useful, but there's not really a use to put you towards. I mean, I know I want my buccaneers to take position in the dock. I could do a lot worse, I think, than take... Well, I didn't take one of my fourths out, but take my rake down to the port, get him embarked and drop him off. I think down here. There you go. Get some visibility on the the border. Have a look at what's going on in Bogota. Spain's recruited some marines. So when these guys are replenished, we can go knock out the pirates. Then we'll have a pretty good army left. Don't have, really. I don't really have any money to fix anything. Because we've already lost the unhappiness because of this seminary being destroyed, let's just knock it down. I think the game is tier 10. The Barbary States are probably going to march upon us once more. The United Provinces are waiting and biding their time, it would seem. But really, we need to pump more troops out in Madrid and secure the Iberian Peninsula and probably Morocco as well. It would be nice to make peace with France, but I don't think they'll let us. Caracas, we could grow our troops in the Americas and maybe conquer more territory from the... Maybe even from the French, because they own most of the West Coast. The East Coast, sorry. Yeah. Swedish, Ottomans, Russians, you can all continue fighting the Great War. The new Spaniards help <laughs> are helping me keep my ports clear. Italian states are still squaring off with Prussia. Yes, and they're attacking us once more, and we are going to fight it. 
just because this is the last turn and I really don't chances that are going to cause this to uh, want the Barbary States gone at this point. Right. Same plan as before. Maybe over here. Sure, make sure these guys have the stakes in front of them. Not overly fussed about deployment. Yeah, that was almost a massive cock up. Obviously, the moment I deploy over where they were. They decide, no, 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 no. Well, I'm still pretty confident. charging us but we're currently just having a bit of a shootout with their camels which they won't ultimately win there's a militia getting some good shots off their mission is to knit, take out as many camels as they can They're gone. Push up to the Camel Nomads. Just push the line up. Just push the line up to make this guy route and then end the battle. That's all it comes down to. stop where you are now. Grenadiers have got a good shot off into the general. The general's already dead so there's only so many problems he can cause. The first regiment of foot is going to tear these desert warriors apart. Yep, yeah, there they go. And so ends the tyranny of the Barbary States. They have been destroyed. Erased. Erased from our game. Never to blockade my ports again. <laughs> Storto that. Forza Damn! A thousand men that cost us, that auto resolve. There you go, tax. Save cure yourself from being taxed for a while. Hop back over to here because they hate us. Yeah, they sure do. We don't have a university. So your job is to repair the governor's barracks. Recruit some... You guys pick up some native line to send down to Tripoli to bolster their forces. You guys need your ships back. Let's pick the light galley and you occupy a naba. This fellow can build a dry dock. You're just a couple of... not a very big army. So let's just take... Let's take two of my guns. And you guys chase down Bruno Gotts. That'll be the end of him. Obviously it's not the end of him. You guys replenish and continue to chase them down. All the while, you guys replenish once more. Pick up 
some guns and cavalry, and that's damn near a normal army. That can go west and strike Portugal. This army will start to become the core of a garrison that will sit back in Madrid. Pick up a few more infantry. 14,000 next turn. That's pretty decent. And let's pick up this clearances. This is nothing we can do about this at the moment. There is religious unrest here, but let's get you down over to the uh, the border so I can try and do some work. I mean, religious unrest to 10. That's not going to help too much. Sardinia got a port, so let's get the militia down there to occupy it. Good stuff. One more turn to join stock companies, which is great. Again, we do need roads, but there's not a lot we can do about that. We do need to just keep our foot pressed down hard in Madrid. Because that garrison army that's in Lisbon, not Lisbon, that will be in Madrid, will be to protect. Good God, Prussia's pushing into Moscow. <laughs> Their job will be to protect Madrid from attack from any rampaging Spanish armies. And they'll also become an army that may push against France, although I would like to make peace with France and, if anything, support them in their war against the Prussians. Because I see them as the Protestant invader. New Spain's declared on me. That's okay. I call the Italian states in. Well, it's a good job I moved an army over to Bogota. So then they will march west. Do you have a general? You do have a general. Let's try to take him out. Nope, they found him. We got joint stock companies. Tripoli is rioting again, so we couldn't we can't recruit any troops there. Keep punishing. Get my priest to stand at the border to start to try and convert the population. Could get a college, but they're already going to be unhappy with us here in Tunis. So let's get some desert warriors just to keep you a bit happier. Let's pick up a commercial basin for our capital. I think we probably want to focus on trade in Naples and in London. Well, not trade, infrastructure. Okay, let's pick up metal roads in London. Let's keep getting this growth cranking up high. You're still replenishing. Just go take him out. Take up Mr. Gotts. Replenish whatever you can with what's left. And now we can start to try and uh, turn Spain into the region we want it to be. I mean, I will definitely need to keep some happiness buildings here because our population, well, the population at large just hates our hates our leaders. So let's repair that fella. Not the farm yet. Yep. So this army here is on the way to becoming a complete force, and they will they will march west to try hit. Lisbon, or do they go south and take Gibraltar, finish it, destroy this army, kick them out of um, Sandy Bay? One second, everyone. Sorry for that. I had to clear my throat. Um, I think marching against Lisbon is probably the smarter idea because it's their more important city, but at the same time... Um, if I just take Gibraltar, it's quite easy for me to, re to support Madrid following this main road up north. I think that's probably a good idea. Okay, so you are now on to separation of powers, which again increases unhappiness, which I'm not quite sure I'm 
so keen about. Instead, I want you to go for Punch Card Loom because we've got a good amount of text textile buildings in our empire, so it'll be good to expand those chaps. New model Bayonet Drill would be good. It would be good to get to increase the charge bonus for Bayonet equipped armies. They demand joint stock companies, they offer copper bottoms and... Hmm. Yes. So I went for that. It's not necessarily a good idea. So joint stock companies is a good technology. So you don't really want to give that to the AI. But at the same time, they were giving us copper bottoms, which is good for me because it's a lower tier, well not lower tier, less important tech for me. So I don't want to spend, to have my, uh, I don't want to have troops or, or um, schools researching. They did counter offer, nope, just peace. Counter offer. Nope. Russia wants me to give them London and peace. And they are currently experiencing, you know, Barbarossa, except 200 odd years too early. Russia, no, uh, Prussia, sorry, is doing a staggeringly good job. Oh, it's snowing again outside. Um, yeah, Prussia's doing really well against the Germans, so that's concerning. Rake in England. Discrezione è il mio soprannome. So let's embark him aboard ship. You can leave and dump him off of the coast. Oh, we, we raided their port. Good. Get you back into Greenwich. You. You find out what the hell's going on over here. Station you over near Kiev, my friend. Grand Bahamas is being blockaded. And that's fine, because it's not even my port. Okay, let's pick up some of these iron working buildings actually first actually let's pick up this weaver's cottage because we know we're about to get a weaver's tech boost coming can i get the governor's palace there to boot no not boost tax income yet i've got a lot more lower tier more important things to spend the money on first there is a barbary states rebellion which is all artillery I mean, what have you, have you got any camels? One camel. Just water or something like that. <laughs> like, Jesus. It's just artillery. So yeah, they're unhappy again because now we are... Ooh, some of our guys can make it back to the... Capital. Altro in attesa di altri ordini. Signor Sid. So I wanted to march these guys back first, try and maximize the uh, power from the suppression abilities from my garrison. Yep, here it comes. Time for reforms going up. I would like to build one in Madrid, and I think I probably will, but I don't know where. I have no emerging cities. This guy's asking for a slot, but I'd like it a bit more well protected. I'll probably knock down this seminary. I'll, relieve, I'll reduce some religious happiness, although to be honest, doesn't seem like I'm getting much of that. Entertainment and culture is all from all from these happiness buildings, and one of them is not even working. Okay, so let's take Mr. Bassano out. Get this fellow in. Oh, actually, I probably need to stop building one of these in order to drop out a few more units of line to help protect 
The city. And then this guy march on the way down, take Gibraltar, and draw this army into the fight. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Knights of St. John. Cheers everyone.